Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye here, and I'm going to give you the ultimate tip. I'm going to tell you essentially how to upload 2K and 4K video, how to export it, how to render it from your editing program. I'm going to show you from Premiere Pro, but I know a lot of these can relate to uh, Final Cut 10 or whatever you're using right now as well. So 2015, how to upload 2K, 4K video, the settings and the key setting you need to actually get this to work properly because YouTube is a pain with this. What is it? Let's dive into this right now. So just a short while ago, I was really trying to uh, test out 2K, how to get it to work because it's actually a little bit finicky and a little bit of a pain to get to YouTube. YouTube likes some certain amount of settings and I'm going to do a lot of stuff with 4K video, especially with the iPhone 6S, uh, some GoPro stuff that I want to do and especially 2K video with my DJI Phantom 3 standard. So I've just been dying to try and really get this down. I want to make a preset and I got it to work after several attempts. There's not many clear videos on this. I'm going to show you the frame size that you need to use and the settings and the frame rate to make this key. So as you see right here, I got this uploaded and I have the 1440p right here. So let's really dive into this. So I'm going to bring up some of uh, my raw video that I shot the other day uh, with my DJI Phantom uh, 3. And, it, and I shot it in 2K at uh, 2997, so around 30 frames per second. So raw, unedited video, you'll see the size right here. It's shot in uh, codec H.264, 2704 by 1520. Now it's gonna be important because that's the size I want. Is that necessarily, that's 2.7K, so it is a little larger than your 2K, which is the dimension of uh, two, uh, 2562, by 1440p. That's why you see that 1440p as 2K. But when you upload it uh, with these settings as well, which I found out, it pretty much uses the same as 1440p. Maybe a little bit better quality, but very minuscule in regards to that. So I imported that, brought that in, made a new sequence, and my new sequences I pretty much make. Um, there's a good preset that I, that they um, that Adobe Premiere Pro gives CC 2015 version. And essentially 2997, uh, 1080. That's what I do a lot of my YouTube videos in. So it works out pretty well. So there we go. So I brought in my first clip. I took a quick, uh, what, 10, 11 seconds or whatever the test is, maybe 12 seconds. I brought it down and I exported it out. I threw in some janky quickie music to get this over with. So the key thing right here is to make sure you get your frames right or it's not going to work. Essentially, I had everything right. I had the size right, but I could not figure out why I could not get it past 1080p by 60 frames. And I just took a screenshot because I had it deleted and everything like that. So one of the things I got after doing some research and watching some more YouTube videos was knowing that the frame rate you need is 30. YouTube loves 30, not the typical normal what you need, 2397, 2997, 59.94, whatever. You need to have it 30 for to get the 2K and 4K to work. So that way you can see your 4K badge or to get that uh, 1440 to show up. So let's do that here. So I'm gonna rent, I'm gonna export this and show you the settings that I use. One of the main things you have to use, you have to use H.264. And my base camp that I started, see I already made these presets, is I went down to HD 1080p 2997. So that way, on an even keel, we have that right here. Now the biggest thing, if you go to mess your, 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 uh, your frame size and everything, you're not gonna get it to work right. So I don't know about Final Cut for this, but especially for Adobe Premiere, uh, one of the things I was, you know, one of the things I learned was changing your level to 5.1. It gives you a little bit more dimension and room to um, play with. And well, essentially all I did was here is I typed in the height of 1520, which was the original size. Um, I'm going to change that to 2704. Is that going to mess with the watch? This was the original size that my my DJI shoots at 10 uh, at a 2.7K video, so 2K video. But you could also type in 1440p, which once again, 2562 by 1440, and I could strain it and make sure it works. Once again, the key thing here, change the level to 5.1, making sure this is exactly 30 or it will not work. So that's one thing you like to do. I like to render at max depth and quality. And then I also kind of mess with the max and bit rates and I found that this gate uh, gave a smaller decent size compared to rendering out a full, especially for YouTube, it kind of doesn't matter. It's kind of compressed anyway. And I found my base settings to be uh, 20, 26 point, um, three, one. And then as large as 121.92. So there we go. I have that right here. I would export it out. I would actually save this as a preset. But as you see, I've already have my preset made. 
I'd export it out and it essentially it will upload in 2.7K right here. So there you go. That's it right here. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please write those down below in the comments. It is extremely easy to do once you know the settings. It's very frustrating that uh, YouTube really isn't clear that they need 30 frames per second on the dot, which once again, it's not. It's usually 29.97. A little bit makes a difference in the in the uh, the video world. But if you want to do 4K video, it's exactly the same thing. Just use your frame size of 30. Uh, 3840 by 2160 and use that 30 frames per second and you will do perfectly fine so that's all i got right here hopefully this tip this you know this showed you as well and you know made things clear as there are a lot of videos all over the place hopefully i got everything concise in a one video right here any questions down below eric ross the guy with the i 2k 4k on